everyone, this is Mr. Clown Zero One, and today we're looking at the Dark Shadows bobblehead set. This set of bobbleheads is from the original series of uh, Dark Shadows, and you get, I got them online from MPI Home Video. I just wanted to show you the boxes real quick. They are extremely basic. All of them are pretty much the same. In fact, I don't know which character is which other than two things. <laughs> this one says it's the Angelique bobblehead. The others I didn't find any markings on, and this one I took a peek at. I know it's Barnabas because it's, it was just such an odd size box compared to the others. And uh, so I know those. But what I thought I'd do is show you how they're packed because they're packed extremely well. And then I'll take them out and show you the bobbleheads. So let me show you. This is the Angelique. So we'll uh, open this. You can see. They're packed in styrofoam, very well packed. In fact, I don't know if I can get it out of there very easily. Here, pushing this in and see. Let's see, here we have it's a couple of parts of styrofoam. Take it out. There's a bobblehead. Okay, she has a nice. Uh, I'm going to take her out. Just nice protection right there around the bobble part. So, I also want to show you how Barnabas is packed. I'm not sure why he was packed differently, but he is. Also, these were uh, $10 each at the uh, MPI home video site. So, you can see he isn't in a uh, nice styrofoam like this, he's in bubble wrap. I don't know if this is like the last one they had and I got it or something, I really don't know. But he too has the uh, nice neck protector. Looks like he's been in an accident or something there. So let me open them all up and we'll look at them one by one. I'm going to show you how this works. The protection around their neck is just a piece of uh, foam that you unwrap like that. And that frees the bobble action. It was really nice they did that so it didn't break in shipping. And there we have the free bobble head. First, let's take a look at the Angelique bobblehead. The first thing I want to say is all these bobbleheads are extremely heavy and well made. They're very um, thick. Most bobbleheads I've collected are made by Funko and they're a little on the light side. These are not that way at all. We can see we'll turn it around. It's very nice detail now. The arms aren't jointed like it is on a few bobbleheads. Name's very nice in front. I really like the detail on her hair in this. It's beautiful. It says dark shadows in the back. That's very. And there we have Angelique. Now, the other interesting detail on these most bobbleheads I have have some kind of copyright or something. Only one of these has a copyright, all the others do not. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at Barnabas. Put him up here. See, his name's down there. His neck rides a little higher than some of the others, so you can sometimes smush that down if you don't like it. It doesn't really bother me, it's just the way bobbleheads are. I really like that they added his cane and ring on here. Again, Dark Shadows is written on the back. And this is the only one with a copyright. If we look down here, other than the Made in China, they all have that. It says, oh, to have it the wrong way. I think it's 2003 Dan Curtis Productions. So that may be why I got, uh, if you go to the website, it says the bobbleheads are usually like 20 and they were 9.99 or 9.98 or something like that each. So this is a really good deal for this quality of a bobblehead. Hey, one complaint I have is what I just was dealing with. A few of these bobbleheads the styrofoam packed in was very flaky and I, I made a huge mess here. It's off camera, y'all can't see it, but I'm going to have to vacuum it up later because I have those styrofoam flakes everywhere. Uh, Josette was one of the ones who had the uh, more messy, see she's got flakes all over. Stuff. Let's go ahead and turn her around. There's another one. that one later. 
And again, no real copyright, just made in China. Next, we're going to look at Quentin. Now, I was impressed with this one. If you look at the picture on the website when you order, it does not look this good. But he looks very good. I almost didn't order this one because, I don't know, something about the paint, if you, like I say, go online and look at the pictures, it looks like he's wearing a toupee or something weird. It just, I don't know. There we have Quentin. And lastly, we're going to look at the wolfman. No, the werewolf, excuse me. The werewolf. Now, as I said in my uh, video where I got the complete series, I'm not overly familiar with the series. For some reason, when I was, uh, I've seen an episode with this character, I don't know when or where I was rather young at the time. I remember seeing it, though. This is always stuck in my mind. This is a werewolf. So there we have the werewolf. Let's put them all up here so you can kind of see them together. And also, misspoke. I may have misspoke earlier. I might have said there were six. There's only five that I ordered. If there was a sixth one, I don't remember it. Now one minor complaint I have, Barnabas seems a little out of scale with the others as far as the size of the head. If we look at all of them, his head just seems a little smaller. It's not that big a deal. I just want to show you what they're in scale with compared to some of my other bobbleheads. I have my Iron Man 2 hologram bobblehead right here. So you can see it, it fits pretty well in there with them. A lot of times, I, I tend to only collect fun code, to be honest, because they're easy to find, they're inex fairly inexpensive, and they all are about the same size. I kind of like having them all about the same size. But these are close enough for me. And I really wanted the set when I saw them online. I was on say. So that concludes our look at the Dark Shadows bobblehead set. Leave a comment in the show notes. Let me know what y'all think of them. And as always, have a great day.